Okay, in this segment of meeting face to face in the online classroom, we want to take a look at Skype and how Skype can be used. I'm primarily putting Skype into this position in the in the modules of the classes because of the video conferencing um, possibilities. But we're going to take a look at some of the Skype features as it is. So, for instance, uh, Skype is a free can be a free facility. You can do free video calling, so you can have a face-to-face -face conversation with your students. That adds a little bit of uh, more personality and more personal connection to your feedback sessions. You can call mobiles, cell phones basically, and landlines, and they have uh, a way to build up Skype credit put a little bit of money in there to cover the cost of those calls. You can have calls obviously with other people that have Skype for free um, and it doesn't matter where they are all over the world. You just click and there you are and those can be both video and audio or you can just open it up and, and type to each other so it becomes an instant messaging um, uh, system. The thing that's important to us is video calling. So this is where you put a group together who will um, all come on to the same call and be able to talk each other. You probably, this particular tutorial, it's worth clicking on this little guy, see how group video calling works, to get a preview. There's also an enormous number of uh, YouTube videos telling you how to set up Skype and how to make a video call, how to put together people for an audio conference call, how to change that to video, how to use this mess instant messaging at the same time that you use the call. And I've got some photographs of a meeting that I was in recently that I'll have in, in the rest of this module that, that give you an example of what that looks like. So this is just a, a, a listing of all the various things they can do. And this is screen sharing is also something that's very important, um, can be very important for you as a teacher. Now the prices, it's free uh, for Skype to Skype calls and one-to-one -one video calls and instant messaging and screen sharing. And then they have a variety of subscriptions that cover the different things you want to do. One person in a video call, um, a video conference call, has to have a premium membership. So if you were going to do a video conference call to your students, you you would have to have a premium um uh, an account and then your students would not need to you could call them up and they could get in without a problem. <clears throat> there are a variety of accessories they not only give you information on what type of headset you might want, what type of webcam you might want and so on, what type of microphone but there are some apps that you can also get for Skype. Um, here's a listing of, of the apps and these are uh, things that allow you to record the call, allow you to uh, screen share, to work on a whiteboard together, to do a variety of different um, activities together but mainly what they've got here are different versions of free softwares that allow you to um, either record an audio call or a video call. Clownfish is a translation service. This one is particularly useful. This is online educational whiteboard where you can set up what looks like a blackboard in a classroom and you can work together on it. That can put, put a real-time activity in there for you. Now I'm going to run to YouTube really quickly so that you can see that there are Skype tutorials abounding here. There are just millions of them. All you have to do is get on YouTube, put Skype in there. There's one on making video calls, making free calls. Um, somebody did this lovely one that explains it visually. Um, I'll put a, I'll embed that into your course. So there's lots of different tutorials that you can get here um, to help you use Skype in your classroom. So yet another resource that's available for adding some FaceTime into an asynchronous online course.